السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وعلیکم السلام ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی کوشچن از ریگارڈنگ حج کین اے پرسن ہو از ناٹ یٹ پرفارمڈ حج ڈو حج اے بدل اور ناٹ واٹ از حج اے بدل اینڈ دا سیکنڈ کوشچن از پوز بائی اے نان مسلم ریگارڈنگ دا ریچولس ان دا حج وین وی تھرو اسٹونس واٹ از دا ریلیونس آف دیٹ اینڈ ڈز ان اینی وے شیطان گیٹ افیکٹیڈ بائی دوز اسٹونس اور ناٹ آئی مین دس واز ون آف دا تھنگ اینڈ ان دیٹ ایکٹ دیر آر لاٹس آف پیپل ہو ڈائی آئی مین what is the answer to that as well as the first part so of that the question that a person who has not performed hajj and since hajj is fard can he do hajj e badal the first question the second question is that when we stone the jamrat does the satan does the devil get hurt and don't people get killed so what's the reason as far as the first question is concerned that can a person who has not done hajj do hajj e badal no he cannot do hajj e badal means doing hajj on behalf of somebody else maybe the person is alive he may be sick he physically cannot perform all the rituals of hajj so surely he can say that here i'm giving you money just because i am physically not fit i am asking somebody else to go as far as second part of the question is concerned that when we stone the jamrat does the devil get hurt see here we have to realize that when we stone the jamrat it is not that physically we are causing a damage to the satan it is symbolic that means we are against the devil that is there and we know that the devil always strives to take us on the wrong path so when we are stoning the jamrat we are actually symbolically agreeing that we are against the devil and we want to fight against him because he is an avowed enemy to us as far as the last part is concerned that while stoning the jamrat many people die etc that's the reason the government is making facilities the government is giving more facilities where people can stone and yet there may not be a stampede etc But if you analyze, brother, previously when people used to go for Hajj, maybe 50 years back, 100 years back, 200 years back, more people used to die as compared to today. Today, about 2.5 million perform Hajj every year, on average. 2.5 million people perform Hajj every year. Previously, it was less than a million. If you go back more, it was less than 100,000 people. Yet, when we went for Hajj, Suppose living in India, we had to go by ship. It would take months to do Hajj. Now, you can go for Hajj and come back even in six days' time. Minimum even less than that. On average, they take two weeks to three weeks so that they want to go to Medina, etc. and stay in Makkah for a longer period. But the minimum requirement can be done in a few days. Previously, it would take months. And whenever people used to go for Hajj, they used to meet their relatives and there was an understanding, maybe we will not return back. Maybe. Chances. Not that they won't return for sure, but chances are there. Whether 20% they will not return back, 30% or 40%, whatever it is. But now if we analyze the 2.5 million people going and the total number of people dying for whatever reason, it is 0.01%. It will be less than 0.01%. So compared to before, now the facilities are much better. As far as the toilets are there, mashallah, it is very hygienic compared to before. But now we don't want even a single person to die. So if any one person also dies for any reason because of overcrowding or stoning the jamrat, the government of Saudi Arabia is trying its best to curtail it down. And when non-Muslim experts, when they hear about the facility that the government is giving, they say it is impossible. Logically and scientifically, it's impossible that two and a half million people are gathering together in Arafat, Mina and performing the rituals without the hundreds of thousands of people dying. They say it's impossible. Yet, Alhamdulillah, we see that every year the Hajj is being performed. There have been occasions where there was some fire took place and few hundred people expired. There was a tunnel that caved in. But yet, if we see the percentage, it is very negligible. So even in Jamrat, now the government has made a flyover and have extended the Jamrat so that we can stone from the ground floor as well as first level. Now a second level has come and more will keep on coming. So they're trying the level best and see to it that people come and do what is required in the religion without being hurt. And when people go for Hajj, there they see millions of people gathered together, people dressed up in two pieces of unsewn cloth, preferably white. There we see the real brotherhood. People from America, Canada, UK, Singapore, Malaysia, India, Pakistan, UAE, Gulf countries, they dressed up in two pieces of unsewn white cloth preferably. You cannot identify the person standing next to you is a king or a pauper, whether rich or poor, all look similar. 
So here we get the universal brotherhood and practically demonstrate. So we perform Hajj because it's one of the pillars of Islam. It's a further commandment of Allah and the Rasul. Hope that answers the question.